Hey guys, LP here with your jump volleyball training tip of the week. I'm here at the Gatineau Sports Center and today I want to talk about blocking. Why blocking? Well, you guys know from seeing my previous videos that I really like blocking. It's such a good feeling when you get up there and you put your hands in front of the ball and you get to slam that ball down when that guy wanted to score a point, right? He was thinking that he was going to score that point and you just went there, put your hands over the net and boom, denied that point from him. That's an amazing feeling. I loved it when I was a young player, when I was a player on a Canadian national team as well. So much fun. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, swing blocking and I want to just uh, go through a couple of points that I think are very important. Okay, so let's get started here. All right, so the one thing you want to do, obviously you want to be in that starting position and you can go back and watch one of the videos that I made on starting position when you block. Okay, so you're in your starting position and now I'm going to do my swing block. So my swing block will allow me to cover more distance in a faster time. So I'm going to be here and the few things you want to do are very simple. The first thing is you want to open up a little bit. Okay. And when you open up, you can open up your hips. You don't want to go too far. Okay. You want to stay just normal. Okay. Just follow the opening of your hips. That's going to happen when you, uh, when you, you make that first step. And then what you're going to do is your second step is going to be very, very large. It's going to be a very long step and that's going to create some momentum and help you get up nice and high so you can get some height on your, uh, on your jump and also get a good press. So I'm here, I'm going to take a very big step. Okay. Boom. Large step. Then I bring my foot back. Okay. It's important to really try to bring the hips back. So I plant and I don't float and then I'm going to go up and put my hands over the neck. Okay. Now, I don't know if you've noticed what I've done with my arms, but that's another very important point. So my arms are here in my ready position. They might be up here nice and high if the pass is good and, and I'm a middle blocker. But let's say I start with my hands here when I open and when I'm going to take that very large step, what's going to happen is I don't want to swing with my arms extended because then I risk hitting someone in the back. If I'm going with it with my, my teammates as a triple block or if I'm an outside and my middle is coming. Okay. So I want to keep my elbows bent and just pull my elbows back. Okay. As I'm taking that big step and whoo, bring them back up. Okay. That's also going to create some speed for you and allow you to get up much faster. All right. So now that I've explained to you what uh, it looks like, I, let's actually go and take a look at what it looks like in real life. All right. So let's look at the block from different angles, starting from the front. What I want you to look at here is the length of that second step. Okay. Look at how long it is to help me create that momentum so I can jump and put my hands over the net and also look at my arms, how they're bent on my backswing. Looking in from the side, what I want you to notice is how the hips open, but not too much. And the other thing is the press. Okay. That press happens by contracting the abdominal abdominal muscles to help me put the hands over the net and really cut the angles for the attacker. Looking at it from uh, both angles at the same time. Okay. Just look at the press and the speed of uh, the jump. All right. So now you've seen what it looks like. Okay. What a swing block looks like. So you can go and start working on that with your teams and you're going to, you're going to notice that there are different ways of moving at the net and going to block. And this is just one more tool you have to show your players and to teach them so that they can react and go and block in different situations. The uh, other thing now is just to teach your players when to use a swing block versus another style of movement at the net. Okay. But well, that's your job. It's all of our jobs. Okay. As coaches, it, it's one of the, the, the fun things about coaching is that we have to uh, go through that with our, our players and really find what's the best way to do it with them. But that's just one more tool for you guys. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you being here and watching my tips. If you like them, make sure to send me a message. Okay. Or comment in the comments below. I'd like to know what you want to learn about so I can provide those tips and those, uh, that information to you guys. So enjoy uh, the volleyball in your gym this week and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching guys and thanks to the Gatineau Sports Center for letting us use their gym. If you are in the area, make sure to check it out. Make sure to also subscribe to our channel for more weekly volleyball tips.